So you've been reading up on how to tan your alligator hides yourself and this is important because you've been alligator hunting for a good while now and every time you take one of the hides to the taxidermist it just it costs a lot of money to have him do it. You'd really like to try to start doing that yourself. And so you've been reading on the internet lots of different places about how you do this tanning of alligator hides and uh, you thought you might want to do one way so you started mixing up some ingredients for that and you decided not to use that method and instead go with another one. And so you end up in this situation that we're describing here. You really are looking for uh, a mixture here of 7.2% uh, salt in water along with 1.12% of this agent called Lutan F. Uh, but you had been preparing for another mixture and so you already have 20 gallons of 9% salt water and you have 2 gallons of an 11% mixture of that Lutan F. And so what we need to do now is figure out what's the biggest batch that you can make uh, of the desired mixture that we had defined up here. What's the biggest batch of that that you can make if all you're going to use are your two mixtures you've already sort of set, you know mixed up uh, and then adding just pure water uh, if that's necessary. So this is what we're going to solve. And here's the thing. The biggest number one thing to see in a problem like this is that there is going to be one or the other of your mixtures that's going to limit how much of the overall mixture you can make. It's either going to be limited by how much salt water you have or it's going to be limited, uh, it's going to be limited by this uh, Lutan mix that you have. And so it's going to be either this setup or uh, this setup. And so what we need to do is actually just, I'm going to split this screen and we're going to evaluate those two things just separately. Okay, over here is what happens if your salt water limits. Okay, in this case what you are going to use is the entire uh, mixture of salt water that you had set up. And so I'm going to do a little diagram here that shows uh, this arrangement. Um, if the salt water is what limits, then what we have here is uh, we will use the entire batch of salt water, which is 20 gallons. Okay. And for those 20 gallons, we actually know its concentration. It's going to be 9% salt water. And the rest is going to be just water. And so the rest there would be 91.91. All right. Um, the other uh, thing that we're going to put in here is some amount of the lutan mix that you have right here. Uh, if you use all of the 20 gallons of the salt water, there's no guarantee that you're going to use all of the lutan mix. And so we're going to leave that amount that we put in here as a variable, but we will put in the concentrations that we have there. And it's going to be 11% lutan. And the remainder is going to be, of course, um, the, the water. Okay, and coming out of here is some unknown amount. Okay, and so we could call this uh, Z. Okay, and we know what the concentration is that we want coming out of over here. Uh, we want it to be 7.2% salt. We want for it to be 1.12% lutan. And so the remainder we would want for that to be uh, water, of course. And so if you subtract these two values from one, you end up getting uh, 0.9168 and this is of course your water. Alright, 
But we have one other thing that, that uh, goes into this, and that's that we can add pure water if we need to. So I'm going to show a little arrow here and put the variable y next to this. This is a certain amount of just pure water. And so I'll say that this is then 100% water. All right, so this is the situation if salt water is the limiting factor of how much we can make, the biggest batch that we can make. But this isn't the entire story. The other possibility is that the amount of the lutan mixture that we have might limit how much we can make. So in the case where lutan limits, it works kind of similar, but a little bit different. Okay. What we have in this case is that we are going to use all of the lutan mix. Okay, So this is going to be the same uh, percentages here. The lutan mix is still just 11% lutan with 89% water. But we're going to use the entire amount of that. And so we can just put in here that this is going to be 2 gallons of this. Okay, so the other um, thing then is that if we use all two gallons of that and that's the limiting factor, then we don't know how much of the salt water we're going to need to get the desired mixture. And so we put it, that in as a variable up here, but of course the uh, concentrations aren't different than they were before. So 9% salt and 91% water. Okay. Uh, what comes out the other end is still the same as it was. So we still have, we'll stay, say, Z right here, and 7.2% uh, salt. We will have 1.12% uh, lutan. And we're going to have 0.9168. Uh, is going to be water, 91.68% water. Alright, so we're almost done here. The last thing that we want to do is also recognize that we can add a certain amount of fresh water in this case as well. We'll call that Y and we will say that that is going to be 100% uh, water. Okay. Our answer to our question is going to be based on one or the other of these cases. And so they're really actually, before we work them, there's a, not much of a way that we can uh, tell by inspection or something which one it's going to be. So sometimes it's that way and we have to work both of them uh, in order to find out. So let's just start on the left and work the salt water uh, problem that we have over here. Um, one equation, actually one thing I need to mention here real quick is uh, we are given that we are going to use the same density for all of our mixtures regardless of their concentration. Okay, that says right here, going to estimate the density of all mixtures using the density of pure water. That being the case, one of the things you can do if all of your things are going to be at the same density, it is valid for you to do uh, your calculations in terms of volume rather than in terms of mass. So that's a good point that I should make along the way. So the first uh, equation that we want to write is for our overall material balance. Okay, The overall material balance uh, is going to be x plus y plus 20 gallons is going to be equal to Z. And I'd actually like to take that and rearrange it just a little bit uh, so that I get X, Y, and Z sort of in better positions to be able to do a system of equations later on. So we'll, we'll turn this into X plus Y minus Z is equal to negative 20 gallons. OK. 
okay? So that's our first uh, equation that we have for the, so if the case where salt water limits. All right, um, the other two equations, that one's easy because we're pretty sure we're gonna wind up needing to know both x, y, and z, and so we'll go ahead and write that one. Um, so for our other two equations, it is sometimes helpful for us to think about which ones are gonna be easiest to write. And what we notice is that if we uh, do the salt and the uh, lutan, in each of those cases, we're going to have a stream where one of our variables is eliminated. And that just might lead to fewer terms, which is uh, you know often helpful if you have fewer terms that you have to deal with. So we'll start with salt. Okay, for salt, uh, what we will have is we'll start with x. We will have a point, what, well, no, we won't have any x, right? We won't have any salt in the x stream. So the next thing we'll have is just y. Okay, and y is 100% uh, water. And so that one winds up not being uh, a big deal either. So we go here to then to the 20 gallons. And we're going to multiply that 20 gallons by uh, the concentration of salt, which is 0 0.9, excuse me, 0 0.09. And this is then going to be equal to uh, Z times 0 0.072. That's actually a fairly simple equation. I'm going to take that equation and rewrite it slightly. I'm going to rewrite it as uh, Z 0 0.072 times Z is equal to uh, 0.09 times 20 gallons. All right, the next step that we do here is we are going to do the balance for uh, lutan. Okay, for lutan, it kind of looks similar, uh, except we're going to have x in this one. So here I will have uh, x times 0.11. Okay, there will be no y. Uh, we will add to this 20 gallons times, well, times nothing, right? Because there is no lutan in that stream. And so that's all we have on the left side. On the right side, we are going to have z times 0.0112. And so this is an equation we can rewrite as 0.11x uh, minus 0.0112z equals 0. And this is actually pretty nice because this is a linear system of equations. What you see here is this is a linear system of equations that we can enter into a tool like the Casio calculator and come up with answers without having to do a bunch of algebra. So that's what I'll do. Uh, it might be worth noting while I'm here that this, due to the uh, construction of these equations, they're not actually that hard to solve uh, kind of sequentially because you could start with this middle one. There's only one unknown there. You can then go to the uh, last one here, and now that you would know the x, you can find the z, and then you can go to the last one. Since you would know x and z at that point, you could find y. Not that hard to do that, but it's also probably even a bit easier to put it into the calculator. So I'll do that. Okay, 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 20 for the first 
set of equations. Uh, for the next one, uh, you'll notice that we have nothing for the x and y terms, but we do have 0.072 for the z term. And then for the constant term on the other side, um, we would have 0.09 times 20. And then for the last one here, we would have um, 0.11, nothing for the y, so I'd have zero there. And then for the z, I'd have negative uh, 0.0112. And then, of course, zero for the uh, constant term on the other side of the equation. And when I hit equals here, what I get for x is 2.545. This is going to be in gallons. Okay. Now, what is this? I actually go back up here. This is your Lutan mix. And the note that I will make here before I even look at the other answers, did we have 2.545 gallons to work with for our Lutan mix? No, we didn't. We only have two gallons of that to work with. And so this is actually an impossible situation. Um, so at this point, if you were solving it on a test and you were worried about time, you would probably just stop at this point and say, that doesn't look like that's going to be my mixture that works. It's probably going to be the other one. I'll go ahead and write the other uh, answers down here just as a matter of interest. Y is also going to be 2.4545. Actually, that isn't the um, same exact value, it looks like because it's 2.45. Confusing there though. So why, what is that? That's your uh, added water. And then lastly, Z is how much you get out. Okay, so for the Z that we get out there, it's 25. But again, This is not actually something that would work because we don't have, this is a problem, you know, we do not have this. Okay, so what that means is we need to go and figure out maybe the other one is the one that's going to be the one that matters to us, the one that, that is going to actually limit how much. Um, product we can make. So we'll do kind of the same thing. Over here we have overall. Okay, what we'll have here is basically uh, x plus y plus two gallons is going to be equal to z. And this means that we have x plus y minus z is equal to minus two gallons. Okay, that's one of our uh, equations there. Uh, we will step next to salt. Okay, for the salt equation, uh, we will notice here that the x uh, is going to be a stream that has salt in it. So we have 0.09x. Um, we do not have salt in these two streams here, and so this is just going to be equal to z times 0.072. And again, I'm going to put this into a form that's more convenient to work with in the calculator. 0.09x uh, minus 0.072 z is equal to zero. Okay, and then the next one is our Lutan material balance equation. 
And so for this, what we'll have is we don't have any lutein in the X stream. We do have some in the, uh, the two gallons that comes in right there. We also have nothing in the Y stream. And so what we'll see here is that we've got uh, 0 0.11 times two gallons is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.0112 times Z. And this tells us now that 0 0.112 0 0.112 Z is going to be equal to 0 0.11 times 2 gallons. Alright, and again like we had before uh, we have a system of linear equations here and we can punch those into our calculator, um, which we will do. We'll have 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 2 in this case. All right, the next equation that we have there is uh, 0.09. Uh, we'll have 0 for the y, and then we'll have negative uh, 0 0.072, and we'll have 0 for the other side of the equation. All right, so then the last equation that we have here just has z and then the other side of the equation. So that means we have 0, 0, uh, 0 0.0112, Uh, and then uh, 0.11 times 2. And when we punch these in, uh, we find for x that we, you know, and, and in this case, x is now the amount of salt water that we need. Okay. So the x that we find is going to be equal to 15.714 gallons. The question we might ask here at this point, this is our salt water, do we have that much? And the answer is uh, yes we do because we had 20 gallons of it to begin with and so we're good as far as that's concerned. What about why? Uh, well, we have no limit on how much water we can add additionally, so we may as well figure that out. Uh, we would add uh, 1.928 gallons of fresh water. And then, of course, what we really want to know is how much of this mixture can we make and that's what we have here 19.643 okay, that's actually your tanning agent now that you have made with your desired recipe so uh, we couldn't do this over here, so make sure you understand why we couldn't do that over there. But we can make this mixture right here because we have enough of each of these ingredients. We fully use up our two gallons of lutein, and we should be able to make 19.643 gallons. Uh, and it looks like that is one of the choices right here. So. This should be very, very helpful to you as you think about your alligator hide tanning operation that you're going to begin so that you can avoid paying for all that alligator hide tanning that you're paying for uh, at the taxidermist. And so uh, if you'd like to thank me, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it.